Sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog Sports page brought to you by Kaufman and Lind. Well, um, the representatives from the state of Florida have been uh, packing their bags and leaving Omaha here in the last few hours. Yeah. It was good while it lasted, though. Tennessee heading to the College World Series. They beat the Seminoles 7-2. to two. Tennessee's the number one seed, so that was sort of expected. Tennessee, man, they haven't been to the College World Series finals in the modern era. They've had some pretty good baseball teams, but they're heading to the College World Series. Again, Florida State heading home, but... Great season for Florida State. Link Jarrett, their head coach, only his second season. He took over a program that was bereft of talent, and he's rebuilt it. How? Through the transfer portal. By the way, do you guys know how many um, how many baseball players, college baseball, we always talk about college football players in the transfer portal. As we speak, do you know how many college baseball players are in the transfer portal right now? 1,200. Uh, 16. Uh, more than 5,000. 5,000. Wow. I, I was a conservative guess with 1,200. <laughs> Bulldog, I did enjoy the uh, Tennessee pitcher's Raleigh Fingers uh, mustache going yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, did he, he, did he even have it waxed up? He, he sure as hell did. <laughs> had it waxed up Yes, the curled ends. It was rocking, yeah. man. So, yeah. So, Tennessee's heading there. They're going to face a fellow SEC team, Texas A&M, headed to the College World Series as well for the first time in their 130-year history. They eliminate the Gators. Six-nothing. Gators shut out. The Gators hadn't been shut out in a long time. Gators actually scored 15 runs early yesterday to beat Kentucky 15-4. to And then they come into the late game against Texas A&M. I guess they used all their offense because they got shut out against A&M. I told so Pat gonna... it would be great if they could have saved some of those runs, you know? Right. Right, right. It's going to be an all-SEC final for the second straight year for the third time in four years. SEC has had at least one team in the finals 15 of the last 16 years. Seven different SEC teams have made it since 2009. We talk about the SEC being dominant in football. It's even more dominant in baseball. So... Um, there you have it. Orlando City last night. Hey, they got a draw, guys. They got a draw last night uh, against um, uh, Charlotte. Two to two was the score. All right. So uh, they get a draw. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Charlotte got a red card at the end of the first half. So they're playing one man down for the entire second half in oh. Orlando. So you got to win that game. Yeah. If you're up if you're up a man for the entire second half, don't you have to win that game? You would think you would have a slight advantage. Yeah, 11 on 10. Come on, guys. Yeah. So they do get the draw so they get a point, but now yeah, they need to start winning some games because they are right near the bottom of the Eastern Conference and they have a bunch of teams to get over so you know there there's still not many points behind the playoff line but they have to start winning some games by the way um my my professional goal in life I've said this for a few years now is to be a fired college football coach or a fired NBA coach all right Monty Williams was fired by the Detroit Pistons yesterday <laughs> after one season yeah uh He's still owed $65 million on his Dude. contract. Wow. What do you million. do for a living? Nothing. <laughs> Not anymore. I, I want to be a fired coach. That's my goal, okay? I'm a fired coach. Oh, I'm so sorry you lost your job. Don't worry. Can I buy you and your family's house for you? <laughs> so, he, so he signed a six-year, $78 million contract last year. Gets fired after one year. I have a theory. I have a theory, all right? Do you think these coaches sometimes try to get fired? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You've got to get... Like, uh, hey, De- Detroit's a- offering me a deal. I'm not exactly thrilled about living there, hey, but I, I can soldier I'll through sign for the a deal. season. Yeah. I'll sign the deal. We always talk about teams tanking. Maybe coaches tank, too, so they can get fired. Right? <laughs> Told you guys years ago, sports is all about money. Everything. <laughs> I'm convinced of it. Yeah, there right? could be something to that, dog. <laughs> uh, Yankees lose last night in Garrett Cole's return. Um, uh, he's their ace pitcher, obviously. Didn't look bad, but they lose to the Orioles 7-6. 
Did you see who's won three in a row? The fever. <laughs> I got the fever. I'm hot. I can't be stopped. Caitlin Clark oh double God. double what, last what night. That? <laughs> this. That's a cheer. That's a cheer that my my old high school cheerleaders used to cheer back when the interlocking Rams were on the field. <laughs> we got the fever. We're hot. We can't be stopped. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. And then they'd go. So, oh, Mike Bianchi. <laughs> The only guy who's bald in eleventh grade. They did have a cheer for me, by the way. What? What was it? Give it to us. I, I can't say it because it's, um, you know, I'm Italian, and it, the 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 cheer they had for me was sort of a, a, a racially offensive. You can Italian. slur yourself, can't you? Yeah, and, I think are you so. aren't you still allowed to slur yourself? I can call okay, myself yeah, a honky. I, 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 <laughs> Yeah, so Packer Wood. Yeah, I play. I play de- when I play defense. I'll p- actually play both ways: running back on offense, um, cornerback on defense. And whenever I would make a hit on defense, the cheerleaders would go to do 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 wop wop. Oh yeah, do do wop wop. I thought I thought you were going to be offense, and they'd go, Mike Bianchi, you can't stop the wop. <laughs> so, I'm allowed to do that because my wife's Italian. Hey, God. Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> Fever won three in a row now. So, uh, I, I see uh, Kansas is trying to lure over both the, the Royals and the Chiefs onto their, their uh, side of... Uh, they're into the... Into yeah, their state. Their side of the boundary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, who yeah. cares? What's the tax rate? I'd say, is the tax rate different? <laughs> I mean, look hard at that, man, you know? <laughs> yeah. State income tax. Right. Which one has a state income Exactly. Tax? Yeah, All right. So. We got the Mikey's coming up here a week what? Week from tomorrow, Bulldog. A week from Friday. Get your tickets. You can get them 969thegame.com slash Mikey's. Going to have a uh, all the award winners are going to be there, sports celebrities. I'll be there, Mark Daniels, all the radio station personalities. And, again, um, tickets right now. You can get them, 969thegame.com slash Mikey's. Mikey's going to be at the Hilton Orlando Altamont. Going to have a good time. So get out there and come see us. Come right. join us. Bulldog Sports Page brought to you by Kaufman and Lynn Injury Attorneys. Listen to Under Oath with Attorney Jeff Kaufman every Saturday, 730 on FM 96.9. The game you can catch extended versions on your favorite streaming platform. Oh, oh. Lynch and Taco on demand. The iHeartRadio app and listen anytime, anywhere. This is JRR. From the Bogan.